can you um, explain your last point in a little bit more detail? The receiver paying the fees as to as opposed to the sender. What does that look like in in a real life application? What's what's the well, end goal for that? Right. When you make a transaction, uh, you select a bunch of inputs from your accounts, and then the wallet will generate corresponding outputs uh, uh, for the addresses you've selected, and it actually removes a small part of the output's amount, such that the node, when receiving the transaction, will consume that that difference as a fee. And those fees are fixed or are known for the, the wallet and the node. Like it's it's kind of it depends on the configuration and and what has been agreed. So you need to make sure to to leave enough fees, otherwise the node will just reject the transaction. Uh, but then there is always the question of who who pays the fee. And right now it's always the sender in Cardano, right? So if you just send a transaction, you send, I don't know, one ADA, uh, you will have approximately 0 0.17 ADA of fee. And it means that the, the, the person you're sending money to will just receive a bit less. Matthias, would that be user selectable like if the receiver agreed that they're going to pay the fee for the transaction is that like a, a selection in the future that somebody would make yeah exactly exactly so it's not yet available in the in the ui nor the api because it requires more work but in the long run you could expect instead of you sender paying the fees have the receiver also you know provide a way to pay the fees instead of you that's that's very interesting, Rick, because we speak about e-commerce solutions in the future. And, you know, the one thing with the, the advantages of fiat, um, traditional fiat, is when you go to a store, you purchase groceries or you purchase whatever. It's always, you know, Walmart or X, Store X that's usurping those those fees. And, um, you know, in the future, if goods or services are being exchanged within the Cardano ecosystem, the the idea that the receiver can choose to usurp those fees makes it that much more uh, feasible for certain transactions to take place. I don't know if you would agree with me, Rick. I do, uh, because things like eBay, sometimes you got to negotiate who's paying the shipping costs or who's paying for the return costs if the deal was not what was expected. So I think it's a really good development to have in there that, that will be available sometime in the future. 